Hi, I'm Carl Taylor, and in this video, I want to provide a clear explanation about the differences between medium format cameras and smaller formats such as 35 millimeter. Now, there are many misconceptions regarding using a medium format camera and why we use them, as well as misconceptions concerning the pricing of medium format cameras, and I'll address those later in this video. First of all, let's look at the most obvious difference, and that is the actual size of the cameras. You can see here, the physical size of a medium format is larger than a 35 mil or smaller format cameras. The reasons for this is that the medium format camera has to hold a much larger recording sensor, and in turn requires larger lenses project a larger image circle to cover that larger sensor. Whilst 35 millimeter and smaller format cameras can offer great results, the physics of a smaller sensor mean light is not recorded in the same way. On a larger sensor camera, we not only have more megapixels, but we have greater dynamic range. And that gives much better transitional tonal values and much greater tonal accuracy and color accuracy. Now, if we take a look at the physical size of a medium format sensor compared to a 35 millimeter camera, let's just lock this open here. Now you can see here the physical size difference of the two sensors. Due to the physical size of medium format sensors, they are not only very high resolution, but also because the recording area is much larger, there is no need to cram the pixels into such a small space. This is very important when we consider the signal to noise ratio of a camera's sensor. For example, on this 50 megapixel Hasselblad CMOS camera, it delivers a pixel size of about 5.3 microns. Now on a comparable DSLR, that would be 4.14 microns, and that means the Hasselblad has 28% more light capturing ability. How does this translate in terms of image recording quality? The key element is the combination of high megapixels and large dynamic range, resulting in silky smooth tonal range and high resolution. The dynamic range is 14 stops and the images are true 16 bit, which is significantly more than most smaller format DSLR cameras. Of course, if you just want to upload a picture of your cat to Facebook, then your smartphone will be sufficient and in many cases, 35 mm does have its marketplace. But if you're a quality fixated photographer needing to achieve the very best images for perfection driven clients or for projects where image quality matters, then there will be no room for equipment compromise. A fundamental first stage of that process is optical clarity and optical quality. Medium format naturally allows for better quality optics as larger lenses are easier to design to ensure a higher quality and Hasselblad lenses are second to none. Precision clarity ensures that the lens can deliver what the sensor needs. And Hasselblad's own natural color solution, its color gamma and color profile, gives photographers the most accurate color reproduction straight from the camera with no need for presets. And thanks to the larger sensor size, medium format can deliver a shallower depth of field compared to the same aperture setting on DSLRs. But when required, they still provide large depth of field and high quality images, even at small apertures with minimal diffraction due to pixel size and optical quality. Shooting in a studio with this system is a breeze. You have tethered shooting and modularity but I'll come back to that later. What about shooting outdoors? Well, that's straightforward too. With the medium format Hasselblad, you have weather sealing and the ability to shoot with CF cards, but you can shoot even more cleverly than that because with medium format cameras, there are no flash sync speed limitations. And because of this, you can be more creative with your flash and ambient exposure combinations. 
Due to the lens's internal leaf shutter, I can sync the shutter to my flash lighting at any speed, allowing me to block out daylight while selecting my desired aperture and flash power, giving me more creative possibilities. The weather sealing on the Hasselblad means I can be confident shooting even in the most testing of conditions, and with the clean high ISO capabilities, perfect for low light work. With the CMOS sensor, I can now shoot images at very high ISO speeds that are still grain free even at the larger sizes. These images were shot at 800 ISO and reproduced to 6 meters tall. What else does medium format offer? Well, in studio photography, modularity and accessories are also an advantage. There are a choice of prisms and viewfinders to suit your viewing preference. Cleaning the sensor is a simple task. And there are also special accessories like this tilt and shift adapter, allowing you greater control of depth of field along a given plane. If you need extended movements for greater depth of field and perspective control, then you can even attach your Hasselblad digital back to a technical camera like this Linhof. And if super high resolution image is required, then you can use the Hasselblad multi-shot back, allowing 200 megapixels of super high resolution image quality for things like car photography or high-end product photography. The multi-shot technology actually moves the camera back to record images with 200 megapixels of resolution, delivering detail like you've never seen before. Monitoring your images while shooting tethered is all controlled from Hasselblad's own software called Focus. This incredibly versatile program allows you to control the camera and preview your RAW files in exquisite detail as you shoot them. There are a variety of RAW file controls as well as compare and rate functions. The images can even be viewed remotely on an iPad or iPhone by a client and they can star rate the images as they go along. I also find the iPad very useful for viewing images on location because the camera can transmit the JPEG preview to the iPad, allowing you a much larger preview than the one on the back of the camera screen. The Hasselblad Focus software also handles a variety of other file formats, and you can download Focus from Hasselblad's website for free to give it a try. Finally, let's talk about the greatest misconception of this type of system, and that is pricing. This type of camera is a precision business tool. It's designed to meet your most demanding client's needs. Now, of course, it's not cheap, but it's actually less expensive than you might think, especially when compared to high-end 35mm systems. For example, the Hasselblad 40 megapixel model is especially affordable, and it delivers images well above and beyond those of smaller format cameras. Now, of course, a camera like this cannot shoot rapid succession sports photography, but it has excellent autofocus with Hasselblad's unique true focus system, and it has a fantastic built-in light meter. This camera is at its absolute pinnacle for many genres of photography, whether it's fashion photography, landscape, portrait, beauty, product, or fine art photography, you really can't get a better system. So, if the highest quality image is what you strive for and what your clients demand, then this is the ultimate photography system. <laughs>